Yo, what is going on with vlog number 24? How y'all doing today? Right now I'm out here walking around. You know, everything is a great day. We just manifest that positivity, that blessing. And everybody is in our highest line reality. So we just stay at peace. And we're doing our best always. I just wanted to vlog real quick. Because it's just such a nice day outside, man. It's just a reminder, go out in nature. No matter what temperature is, no matter what you're doing, always keep vibing. No care about what people think about you and all that weird, weird shit you feel me you always just got to stay positive it's cold as shit i'm not lying. as you can see i got my damn shorts on right now but it's all good i'm out of breath because i'm fucking running i almost feel like i'm running i'm not really running my back just right now. i had to switch up from my humera as i told you in the other video i was started taking that shit i had to switch up from it because that shit was causing me all types of peripheral neuro neuropathy like which is basically when your when your feet like you lose feeling in your feet and your hands and you get all kind of blue veins and shit like under your eyes and under your feet and hands and if your feet feel really numb and heavy so i had to stop all that but the thing is when you stop the medicine that's stopping something else like psoriatic arthritis you got to deal with all the side effects of your psoriatic arthritis coming back so that's what i'm dealing with right now that kind of hurts because i can feel that shit been pretty bad for the last week but you know what we always stay healthy and manifest in the greatness so it don't matter fuck it we'll be all right i just wanted to get on here and say that real quick about called the motherfucker just keep doing you keep staying positive look at that fucking sun look at that fucking sun right there man i don't know if y'all can see that let's see if we can get a good angle on that sun we ain't we ain't just buy it yet also uh you know if you see litter and shit try to pick that up don't we gotta say the earth, you feel me? Look a bunch of trash in the street. Oh shit. Almost fell. Right, this trash right here, I'm gonna fix it up. Oh shit, that shit full too. See, look, look, look. Why are you leaving all this out on the street? You gotta throw this shit away. I'm telling you, you gotta lead by example. Don't just be saying it. You feel me? Always just spread joy and love too. That's that's the main thing too. No matter who you are, we all deserve love and joy. That's the really shit. I'm telling you. I'm gonna show you something fun. That's I always think it's so funny every time I walk. This fool, look how dirty that fool is. Like, I don't like put no tarp on that shit. Ain't nobody cleaning that shit. Nobody getting no diving. Nobody getting in that bitch. Let alone diving in that motherfucker. You get sick. You get something. You get that. <laughs> Thinking about um, maybe doing a video about cooking, making some blueberry muffins. So that'll probably be in this video too. I got all the ingredients, so I'll probably do that today. Cause fuck it, why not? I'm gonna switch my angle. Actually, I'm gonna try to do that when I get back to the crib, probably. I would like a muffin today. That sounds fantastic. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but fuck it, right? Man, this is just such a beautiful fucking day. Look at like, look at the street corner, man. Like, look at. Just such a such a beautiful beautiful day. And for real, man. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all back at the crib, man. When I finish this, cause I'm, I'm getting tired of talking <laughs> and walking. But yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Like, dang, look at all that. Look at all that sun just busting and beaming. Shit, looking nice. All right, there we go. Really see the beach from here? Isn't that cool? <laughs> You can see the beach peeking over there. That's just crazy. Look at all that, man. Sheesh. Look at all that. Looking cool out here. You know how to come check out the beach real quick? I'm not going to be here that long. Because I'm tired. Of it. Ain't nobody on the beach. Something out there in yellow. I don't know what that is. Maybe it looks like some people over there. Ain't nobody in this bitch today. really do. I found this cool rock yesterday. I think it was some obsidian. Uh, I don't know if I'll find any more today, but maybe. It was so cool. I broke it in half and it was like, it looked like glass. It was crazy. That's how I knew it was obsidian, but it was really cool looking. I think there's some right here. Yeah, there is. Wow, I actually found some. See, like, I'm 
not going to break this. But if you do break it, it kind of already has the glass texture, actually, if you don't. Yo, we are back in the kitchen once again. What it do, YouTube crew? Today we're going to be making some blueberry muffins. So I got my bowl here. I got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And actually, the lemon blueberry muffins. And right now, I got to see how this shit going to work. So I'm about to make it. Let's see. So I need a flour. So I need... Let me see how much flour I need real quick. Hold on. One and one half cup of all-purpose flour. But... This is gonna be messy, bro. This is gonna be a messy recipe. I'm not gonna even catch you. Mm. Give me a second, and I'll show you what was going on. It's a little too much. Too much. A little too much. That looks about right. Just about a cup, no cup and a half. Dang, man, that shit is messy, messy, messy. Shit all over me. So it says whisk the flour, lemon, sugar. Baking powder and salt in a large bowl. So I need. Got a flour in the bowl. Bowl. And then, so to make the lemon sugar, all I gotta do is add about a teaspoon of this lemon into the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So I don't know how to zest a lemon without having a. Uh, lemon zester, so I'm just gonna pick at it with this knife and hope that does the justice. Don't want to do this, man. Okay, you can zest a lemon with a knife, it's all cap. It's all bullshit. What you've heard is a lie. A tablespoon that's gonna not it's gonna be a lot of lemon you gotta be very careful when you do this basically just skinning a lemon that's all you're doing dog i mean it's like they say you need a lemon zester and all that no you don't oh my god the lemon just went in the fucking <laughs> okay i fucked up a little bit lemon went in the fucking flour okay we're all good save it you're supposed to put the lemon and the sugar together. Ain't nobody got time for that, so we're just gonna add right to the bowl. I don't think I've ever skinned a lemon before. I just did, so that's what a skin lemon looks like. You can't even see it, but it's <laughs> fucking. So I got my lemon zest in there. You can't really see that, but it's in there. And then I gotta add three fourths cup of sugar. I'm gonna use brown sugar instead of regular sugar because I don't. I use ba I have baking sugar. Yeah, ready for baking. Perfect. Tell me that wasn't the perfect ratio of brown sugar. It's a little high up there, but like it's gonna even out. Like, bro. This is why I like brown sugar. It just it knows. Okay, into the bowl. Okay, go. <laughs> um, let's see. And then what else is the last thing I need? I need baking powder, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna use baking soda, which is where's the baking soda? I need baking soda. And that's why you have to have the lemon. I'm also gonna sprinkle some lemon juice in there just so it, it, it does this little thing. It's a reaction. Baking soda is hiding in the corner. I don't have baking powder. I think I just said that, but. You know. One fourth teaspoon, right? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, now that's in there. This is the first time I've opened this baking soda too. It's crazy. How much salt do I need? One fourth teaspoon. I don't think, I think that was more, that was fine. I think it was a little more than the salt than I needed, but it's fine. Um, two teaspoons of baking powder. So I needed two of those. So I need more baking powder. So I guess I need a little more baking soda, but like not a lot more. It's just a little bit. Like that much. That'll be good. The baking soda conversion to baking powder is one fourth teaspoon, and you're supposed to add like a acid in there. So it does its thing. 
that is baking such a base. What in the world? This is so extra. Add oil to a measuring note that holds at least one cup. Add the egg, then measure, then fill the jug to the one cap line with. So how much oil do I need? This fucking recipe is not pissing me off. Cause you have to like scroll down and scroll up. One third cup. Got my oil in there. Put the oil back. Measure two tablespoons of freshly le squeezed lemon. So this is two. We're just gonna say this is two tablespoons. A couple lemon juice. It's already combining with the baking soda and making <laughs> things happen, which is cool. It's making like a sizzle. It's so fucking cool. Got our two percent milk. After I mix everything, I'll show y'all the bowl a little bit. Does it smell good? It doesn't smell too bad. But that's the final last words. Doesn't smell too bad. That ass. Add the milk to a bowl with dry ingredients. Okay, um, that's pretty perfect, I guess. So this is our milk and oil, which is fucking disgusting. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, divide the batter. Okay, I need to add a little vanilla, a little vanilla in there, just a little splash. I always never, I never measure vanilla. I'm beyond. I throw that shit in there. You know what? You can never have too much vanilla, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, and then let's get a, we got a whisk. We don't have a whisk. Old fashioned whisk. For and then we're gonna add this. And, oh, don't lose your mix. I'm gonna have go ahead and mix this dry ingredients. And okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our. Oh, when I added the milk and oil, got real weird. <laughs> what the fuck? He says don't over mix this. So I don't know exactly what that means. It's supposed to be thick and also scoopy, which I guess actually makes sense. Wait, did I supposed to dump my egg? Hold on, I just had an egg, right? Hold on, I don't think I added the egg. Was there an egg in this recipe? Hold on. Yeah, wait, where's the egg? Whisk the flour, lemon, sugar, and salt. Add oil, measuring cup. Add the egg. Fuck, I was supposed to add the egg in the milk. Fuck, okay, see, see, see? Hey, 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 I was like, it's not thickening like it's supposed to. Fucking egg, dog. Egg. Yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna crack the egg in there. It's like not the greatest way to do that, but. It's actually gonna be so nice. Okay, well, hold on. It's actually. Is it? Is it? Oh shit! I'm about to spill it. Um. Yeah, it's getting pretty thick. Divide the blueberries between the muffin cups. Oh, divide the matter between the. We add our blueberries. So I'll show y'all before I mix what I got so far. That's our mix with our blueberries. And now we're just gonna go ahead and fold in the blueberries, as it says. I don't know exactly what that means. But I guess you just gotta mix them all up until they're until they're even. I'm just gonna do it a thousand times. I'm trying to get it all in there evenly. As you can see, we have our muffins in the thing pretty evenly. I mean, the last one's a little low, but it's all good. It'll be pretty good. Let's pop them in the oven. I think we have to pop them in there for like 20 minutes. So I'll see you back after these are done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's check on these. Now I'm gonna make a smoothie. Be a It just smells good in here. It smells like a blueberry factory. What the fuck? I know that smoothie hit. That smoothie hit. Yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all back when the muffins are done. Yep. The uh, muffins seem to be done, so I'm going to take them out of the oven now. These things look marvelous. I'm gonna show you guys a close shot of these things. Look at those things, man. Look at those things. Uh, let me get out of the way. Dang, man. Damn. The, the muffins, they rose pretty perfectly. They're kind of funny that they're sideways, though. I don't know why they're like... This guy's like sideways. You see that? They're just gooing out. So I'm gonna let those cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. This is how to make blueberry muffins with logos. Like lemon blueberry muffins. You, you can put lemon on top of it. I didn't end up doing that. I just ended up squeezing the lemon juice in there, but they will be fucking fire. And you can also put granulated sugar on top. I also didn't do that, but those are just some hacks. Good fucking muffin flavor or texture there, as you can see. Good muffin texture. Wow, man. 
this is what we got right here and as you can see the bottom is good the top is good busting out with that blueberry let's try this shit out and see how it is wow these are really good all right it's kind of like like lemon pound cake but blueberry It's crunchy on top, but it's, it's soft and doughy in the middle. Mmm. And look at that. Little blueberry. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's so good. I don't even stop eating. It's so good. Mm -mm. My oil method on the side too, or perfectly. Wow. Mm. That's like a crisp cookie on top, and then it goes to like this cakey, fluffy, flaky flavor. Man, man. These are good, dude. Like, you got a little time on your hands? You got like 30 minutes? Make these for you or somebody low. Cause these are so good. I'll leave a link to the recipe I used in the description. Try this shit, man. If you use six to eight ounces of blueberries, use the eight ounces. Use maple blueberries. It gets so good and gooey. Mm. I'll use last until like two, three days on the counter. Probably like four. And three months in the freezer. So you can make a bunch of them and it's free. I'll definitely make these again. Mm-mm-mm. Success. Definitely success. Slamming success. Stay hydrated. Wow. Two tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. Go with a quarter of a lemon. That shit makes it perfect. Like, if you like lemon, you love lemon. If you like blueberries, just go and make the blueberry version. I love lemon pound cake. And blueberries. I'm not okay eat my own. That shit was so good. Like my god. That shit was phenomenal. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys to uh go check out my other video last video. Um I don't know what it'll be at this point, but I think I'm gonna go to call it a video. But go check out my last video if you haven't already. I appreciate all the support and love. Peace out, have a wonderful day. And remember to stay positive and try to keep doing your best. Peace. Until next time.